What's up guys, we are back with at least weekly uploads once again. We're making some trips in the next couple of episodes, so look forward to seeing some new places and some very cool new poker rooms. If you're a fan of my content or just happy I'm finally back making videos again, click the thumbs up button and help me out with the algorithm that is probably shocked to see me posting again. Let's hop into this one. Hey guys, on our way to another cash game session here in Springfield, Missouri. Things are gonna be a little bit different today. Today we are switching up, we are playing PLO. Yeah, that's right, hopping into a one 2 5 PLO game at a private location here in Springfield, Missouri. Pretty excited to mix it up, play a little bit of the four card game. Uh, we're not super experienced, we played a decent amount online though, so I feel okay about it. I definitely think I have enough volume in that I know what I'm doing. It's gonna be a little weird knowing the size of the pot and stuff like that, but I don't think that's super relevant. I don't think it's gonna be a very deep stacked game. I've been led to think it's going to be a very good lineup, so I guess we'll find out if that's true or not. Let's go ahead, hop into the action. There's gonna be a lot to keep track of, so here we go. Don't worry guys, table footage coming in just a couple hands. We look down at ace queen offsuit. I've got $300 sitting in front of me. I'm under the gun, there's a button straddle. I open it to 20 bucks and we see one call, that being the cutoff comes down a decent one we flop second pair decide to go ahead and see bet it here as i'm always looking to charge any kind of draws or any kind of anything there can be weaker queens here obviously we can be against a king but whatever we bet out 25 and get the fold so not a very exciting one but nice to get off to a win in the very first hand next time we play i've got queen jack of diamonds we're under the gun again i open to 15 dollars in a non-straddle pot this time and we get two callers off to a pretty mediocre flop for our hand but not that bad of a flop for our range we decided to go ahead and check this time since we really didn't get too much. Maybe with the backdoor diamond draw it could be okay, but decided to check it through. Obviously a turn which comes down the five of spades, so now we've got three spades on the board. Um, yeah, pretty much we have nothing here. River comes down another spade. I check. I would actually consider check raising here if given the opportunity, but the opportunity does not arise. The action checks through and queen five ends up taking it down. So, oh well, on to the next one. Finally into the table footage hands after two snoozers, we look down at our first meaningful PLO hand of the night. We've got Jack-9, 6-5, double suited. Pretty good hand, pretty nice connectivity. We're in the big blind, starting things off with about $300. There's several limpers. I go ahead and pot it, and we get some pretty interesting news. We get plenty of action, get five callers. We are off to see a flop, which comes down pretty much the worst flop possible for us. The flop is King-7 deuce with two diamonds. A uh, very active player ends up potting in here for $240, and I am out. So the next hand's a pretty garbage one. We start off with 10 6, 8 5, only one suit. I've got like $140 to start this hand. There are four limpers pre flop, and I check. Flop comes down a pretty decent one for us. I check, there's a bet and a call. We decide with our short stack here to just go ahead and rip it in, and both the players still involved in the pot make the call. Turn comes down the Queen of Hearts, obviously no help to us. River comes down the Five of Clubs. So now we've got trips, kind of weird. And it turns out we actually lose to sevens full. So sucks not hit one of our outs in this hand. Um, I don't know what we're doing in here at this point. Seems pretty bad. So by the time we pick up this hand, we bought him for another $300. And for 600 total, we look down at Jack four, 10, seven, double suited from the big blind. We end up calling 20 bucks preflop and go like five or so ways to a flop. Pretty reasonable flop for us coming from the big blind. We've got an open-ended straight draw and backdoor flush options. Action ends up checking through. I don't think there's any reason for me to bet here, especially since I'm not the pre-flop aggressor. Turn comes down the king of diamonds. Not the best diamond in the deck for us and obviously not a card that completes our straight, but most of our draws still exist. I don't know how live they are though. I check and then end up calling a $50 bet from late position. River comes down the two of spades, so pretty much the biggest brick in the world for us. River ends up going check, check, and I end up losing this hand to top two pair. So all of our draws seem like they were pretty live. Um, we just don't get it done with this hand. So in the last hand of the night, we are playing a PLO bomb pot. We're fairly tilted. It's been a weird night. Um, not super happy playing PLO, not super happy with the quality of the game, not super happy with the way the stakes are actually being played. Lots of uh, annoyances here. So $25 bomb pot, seven ways. I'm under the gun, which is obviously a very unfortunate spot to end up for this bomb pot, but whatever. Starting the hand with like $200 behind after paying the $25. So we've got 10, four, seven, five, uh, fairly irrelevant suits here. Off to see two flops for free. First flop is ace, nine, eight. So we're flopping a straight draw there. 
And the second flop is 10, 4, 9. So we're flopping top pair and bottom pair there with some backdoor straight possibilities. Overall, two pretty good flops for us. Since it's a bomb pot, there's obviously gonna be insane action. All the money ends up going in on these flops. I don't think there's any way I can or should be getting away here. I'm gonna be super live on both boards. So pretty excited when the turns come down, a five on the top board. So now we've got a pair to go with all of our other straight draws and stuff on the top. And then on flop number two, we see a four, which is definitely a bink for us. We fill up, have a full house there. So feeling really good. River comes down a five on the top board. So we now have trips on one board and a full house on the other board. Feeling pretty good. Unfortunately, one of our remaining opponents flips over Jack four, seven, six. So he ends up having a better full house and a straight. So we lose uh, both boards somehow after a very good flop and a very good turn. Uh, yeah, pretty disgusting. Hate these bomb pots a lot. I know most people love them. I uh, guess I'm in the minority here, but yeah, just not a real big fan. They feel super gambly to me. I think you'd have to be playing so insanely deep or I don't even know. I'm not really sure how you make these a skill game. They don't feel like a skill game. They feel like a bingo game to me. So, oh well, we are out. Not the session we were hoping for. Guys, that right there is what you call a failed experiment. Uh, we weren't really playing a poker game, we were more playing a bingo game based on a lack of stack size from me, everybody else being super deep, playing $25 double board PLO bomb pots, which is obviously just a bingo game. So we get extremely unlucky in like a $1,200 pot probably to uh, lose two buy-ins, so minus 600, feel really dumb. Hopefully it was moderately entertaining. Don't even feel like I did a very good job of filming, if I'm being perfectly honest, which is pretty tilting. Um, let's see if we can not get in a car wreck real quick on the way home. Yeah, that's it. Feel bad, played bad, won't be doing this again. Pilo sucks. You guys probably aren't gonna wanna watch it anyway because Pilo videos usually do pretty bad. So yeah, pretty misled about uh, who's gonna be in the game. Kind of misled about what the stakes of the game are gonna be. Uh, yeah, oh well, you live and you learn. It's been worse. Have a good one. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you guys in the next one. Peace.